Scrap Metal Nation Tomback. I have some electric motors with armatures inside, and look how pretty they are. Let's do the quick oohs and ahs for all the copper that's just pouring off of these things. What I love about these is it's really a great product to clean. Now, right off the bat, you don't have the covers on them. What's nice about that? You don't have to work hard to get to the copper, and once in a while when you find something like this, do not sell it to the scrap yard. Save it so you can cut the copper off. Watch how easy this is. Pull, and you got the armature right out of there. And a piece like this, you have such heavy copper amounts inside, you can take your blade on both sides, here, here, and I generally would suggest doing it over here. From there, you bend this copper up, and on the other side, you can get some channel locks or clamps, and you can pull this copper out and have a beautiful piece of number two copper to sell to the scrap yard. You know, if you ever got a pallet that looks like this, it was about an 1,800 pound pallet, you could pull out about 400 pounds of copper because a lot of the steel is off. Now on top of that, you have more armatures sitting over here with all these copper, not armatures, more copper windings going throughout, and these are so clean, we see people using grinders, cutting them around, and we'd love to hear some of your advice uh, in some of the comments below, but by getting a nice grinder, cutting on this side, then on the other side, you can pull the entire piece of copper out, and you make even more money. Now when you have the steel left over, your scrapyard should buy this as a number one steel, another upgrade. So by spending probably two or three hours of time, you can end up making four or five hundred bucks on a pallet this size. But even if you have one or two of these, it is 100% worth spending the time removing the copper, put it into your winter work pile, along with your insulated aluminum or stuff like that to strip, you're gonna make more money on these because it's so easy to get the copper out. Any other questions or comments or ideas on how to remove the copper, comment below, I'll scrap you later. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you and I'll scrap you later.